Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday market webcast. All right. So first full week of October, the last three sessions here, as you can see on the daily chart, we've been fighting over the uh, the yellow line there. That's the 100-day uh, exponential moving average um, comes in. Uh, that that's a continuation chart. So it's coming in here around. Uh, call it 43.25. On the on the front month chart, it's a little lower. It's down at 42.98. Um, the low from Friday was 42.60, and Friday was another day where, I mean, it provided a real opportunity for the bears to um, to really get into it and really close it down there and leave it, and then they let them off the hook. So our Friday was pretty simple. We put out. Really, the reality was we put out two setups. Uh, we put out a setup in the morning uh, using our new format with the worst entry. The worst entry was a short 11, and that ended up, you know, we ended up doing a 20 handle runner on that. And then, you know, we we, we messed around in, in the middle of the day, and we ended up doing a long worst entry 4306. And, you know, we end up punching out with you know 40 handle runners at the end of the day it's just when the bears let go of the rope in these situations they really um you know the dip buyers come in and, and i i can't really give the all the credit to dip buyers the the shorts are very even though we're down from 45 49 half trading into the 4200s over a five percent correction pullback whatever the hell you want to call it, right? The shorts remain very skittish, very weak, with their heads on a swivel, and it takes nothing at all to get them to cover. And when they start covering, especially on a Friday, into a Friday afternoon, you can really get, let's go to the hourly chart, you can get, you know, violence. So they come down at, you know, we open it here at 9.30 in the morning, a nice little short for us earlier and then boom off we go off we go from 4306 and we you know the high was 4365.75 you can see the new weekly pivot at 4360.92 um you know so we did a little short off the open and then we ended up long most of the day um and you know the nice part about um this innovation that we're doing in the room is it allows people to really draw a line and say, okay, because like 1115, you know, it was there for anybody that, that, that wanted to be there. Um, as far as, you know, getting the entry that we wanted to get, um, um, 4306. And we, you know, we didn't, we didn't try to pick the, the low by any means. Um, uh, we tried, uh, we were short 42, 95, 75 area and got paid a little bit and then got stopped out. But once it starts converting the roundy at 4,300, like it's not there, then you can really feel the covering start to build. And at that point, you just, you have to try the long because you've seen it so many times before. And that's how I always talk about the E-mini uh, and markets in general are very habitual. And the, oh, here we go again is one of the most prevailing dynamics that is present in market behavior. And if more people would embrace the, oh, here we go again theory versus the contrarian, oh, it's not gonna be like the last time theory, their results would improve dramatically overnight. It's very hard psychologically to give the, oh, here we go again, you know, I'm, you know, the market, it's done this before, I'm expecting to do it again, you know, versus, yeah, not this time. This time's gonna be different. You know, maybe it is, but it's probably not. And the reality is, if it does happen to be different, you'll have time to get in and do the different thing. So why don't you do the thing that keeps happening until it stops happening, and then we'll do the other thing. So it sounds simple, and honestly, it's because it is. Once you get, once you get your brain out of the way, and one of the nice parts I like about these setups where it says, look, this is absolutely the line in the sand where 
you know, you need to, you need to be in here or, or better, or you're going to miss the boat. It really focuses up the execution and it gives people, you know, something to aim for. And, you know, in, in most cases, people are able to get in a little bit better, but like if the thing starts to run away, you got something to aim for. And, you know, if you have a, if you have, if you have that, the chances of the arrow hitting pretty damn close are pretty good. And then it's just a matter of managing the profits, which, you know, we lay that out for you too. We have very specific rules on that. So for today, they opened it up. They went and saw the weekly pivot down. And now we've been messing around trying to keep that 100 day as resistance. And then we spent the last four or five hours with hourly mid band as resistance. So you've got volume weighted average price, 43.34, 86, 37 is your hourly mid band. Proprietary moving average is 29. We're below all that now. Daily pivot, 25 half. So I'll be very interested to see if we want to retest 43.15 area, which is what they did um, uh, right around 3.30 in the morning Eastern time. We're flat. My intention is to be flat going into the open. There's plenty of volatility, plenty of opportunity in the regular session. We don't have to be doing a lot of stuff um, in the early morning hours where as retail traders, you know, we really get pushed around. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe. Be healthy. I know I keep harping on these setups. I know I keep harping on them. I'm harping on them because it's really moving the needle results wise. And I really think it can help people's trading. And that gets me excited. And it makes me not really want to shut up about it. So... Um, that's why, that's why you hear me talking about, you know, how we're using it and what we're doing with it. And, um, I, 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 I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a way for us to help a lot of people trade. All right. Have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care. I should be able to get a midday out today. Uh, stay dry if you're here on the, on, uh, here in New Jersey, um, be well, trade them well, and I'll talk to you soon.